Hello guys, it's WazzyTZK and today we're going to be talking some more Killing Floor 3. Now this is going to be a basically a short video and I'm actually releasing a new boss as we've seen from the Crawler trailer. If you haven't seen that already it is linked on Tripwire's um, YouTube. But uh, yeah, we now have a new boss called the Queen Crawler or something. And this blog post here basically goes through it. The creation of the crawler in today's complex global threat environment. A small advantage can make a major difference. To stay one step ahead, Horzine proudly introduces the AS06. The world's first full mobility non-planar bioweapon. This easily deployable arachnid can attack from virtually anywhere, meaning the enemy has nowhere to hide. Horzine promotional video, March 27th, 2090. So that's one year before King Floor 3 is actually set. So this is um, the regular crawler we've actually seen. We've already seen it from the reveal and from the gameplay. Going back all the way to King Floor 2, we wanted the crawler to walk on walls. This would present a whole new challenge to players. Suddenly they could ambush from any direction. The King Floor 3 finally solved the problem, but our reimagining of the crawler didn't end there. We wanted its virtual design to lean into our horror roots by mixing the strange anatomy of a spider with the unsettling menace of a movie serial killer. Its pale skin, snarled limbs, crooked rows of teeth and unsettling clusters of eyes make it undoubtedly one of our most frightening looking zeds. Frightening to look at, equally frightening to fight. Our new crawlers keep you on your toes, you have to be ready to cover attacks from every angle. That means you never feel completely safe, even in seemingly secure positions. Is this referring to a regular crawler or is this the boss? I mean, I imagine the boss has regular crawlers anyway, so you do have to defend yourself from a lot of crawlers. And there is like massive swarms of them as well. There's nothing like getting dropped on by a swarm of crawlers to turn even the bravest player into a complete arachnophobe. And we've got the queen crawler here, as we've seen in the crawler reveal. These little areas look like weak points, possibly. I, I remember seeing from the crawler reveal there was like these yellow spots on her back. So this could be like signs of um, weakness around here. But the problem is having to get to that area can be difficult because I imagine this is going to be in the way. And as you can see here you've got your regular crawler, you've even got a smaller version of it. This is your boss like literally towering over all of the other Zeds. For Killing Floor 3 we also wanted to extend the crawler family tree. This resulted in the introduction of the Queen Crawler, who you may have briefly glimpsed in the crawler reveal video. Yeah that's what I'm talking about. This said is a result of rogue Horzine scientists, M Emmanuel Moorcroft. Okay, you know, at the start of the Killing Floor 3 trailers, we only really saw Moorcroft E, but now we've got the name Emmanuel Moorcroft. I don't know if that's how you say it, but now that we have that name, it definitely adds a bit more depth and um, secrecy kind of thing because you basically don't know who this person is. So he experiments with a mutagenic substance known as the Maya. More on both of these subjects in the future. Oh, is this another boss then? The queen is everything terrifying about the crawler and then some. She's a towering mass of legs and mandibles with claws and teeth jutting out from every side. So we got a bit more information about Moorcroft. If you remember from the crawler reveal for example, at the start of it you have Moorcroft E, but you actually don't know who Moorcroft is, he just appears on every single terminal. Maybe he's the one engineering the Z, so what happened to Kevin Clamley then? I'm guessing this is one of his um, co-workers or something. Battles against this fast paced boss are nerve wracking. Whether she's trying to eat you alive or rip you limb from limb, the queen can quickly control the Maya, which allows her to teleport and surprise you with devastating attacks. Brilliant. During combat she also lays eggs that will hatch a swarm of larvae but can quickly overwhelm you. So I'm guessing those are the smaller Zeds here, like these small little crawlers. A little bit like um, the abominations, little abomination spawns. I guess it's something similar to that. So yeah, those look like the eggs there actually. 
they they probably hatch out, right? They're able to like drop on the ground and just hatch. I'm guessing these are where the eggs come from, not unless it comes from the rear end. Um, so grab your flamethrower and grenades. It's time to destroy it with fire. Yeah, certainly. I think this this boss does look a bit weak to fire. I don't know. I, I just get that impression, but it looks like it's weak to fire. So it could possibly be more immune to fire. But I guess anything could kill it. But yeah, I actually got some more um, information about Moorcroft. Like for a while with the reveals, we only saw Moorcroft E on the terminal. I like, literally had no idea who he was or what involvement he had. But now it seems like he's the one engineering all these Zeds. Which really does make me question, where is the Patriarch? Is he even coming back? I mean, who knows? He could probably get Moorcroft as the boss, perhaps. Like, maybe he's mutated into some kind of abomination, like uh, the Matriarch and the Patriarch. But, I mean, who knows what he's going to be called. But, yeah, so all we know so far is that he works with Horzine, so he's isn't like an ex-scientist or anything, or a member of Nightfall. So... I guess when you play the game, you just have to find out. But uh, yeah, this was a look at the new um, boss. Looking very creepy. Um, again, we've actually got the eggs here by the looks of it. These do look like weak areas though, because it looks like the flesh is more exposed around here. But yeah, it is very interesting. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join Discord if you're new, if you want to keep up to date with King Floor 3 news. I'll be the channel for that. So do like, subscribe, do all of that. And I'll see you in the next video.